What's up guys, this is the N Divine 10K build off, a build off in celebration of me hitting 10K uh, followers on Instagram. Uh, these are the round two results. Thanks to all the participants. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what you have to do for the third and final round. I know many of you are very anxious to see the results. A lot of you have been waiting patiently. Um, I'm sorry that it took so long. I'm doing my best, and uh, I'm learning this thing as I go along. Um, it made it so hard to just all the builds together. I'm just learning a lot. The next build off is going to be different. I think I may just do three builds in one round, do a one round, knock it right out. But the next round, I will have it out right away. It's going to get be a lot less builds to judge, a lot less builds to get on camera, and all that stuff. But between work, being a parent, um, just being fair to all the builders and being thorough with the judging, finding judges, uh, keeping judges, um, then with the people bugging me makes me take longer and then people not following directions which we'll get into. I had a whole tier, all top three builds of the whole tier two were eliminated because of disqualification so I had to go in and find the next three builds. So, um, other than that, let's just get this thing started. Let's get it rolling. Let's look forward, not look backward. We had so much talent that took part in this. So many great entries. I wish I could give you all the win, but I can't. And um, we're going to have to uh, go with the judges. So we started off with two tiers. One tier for builders that had over a 1,000 followers on Instagram. Then I had a second tier. The second tier was for builders that had under a thousand followers on Instagram. Uh, those were just the builders starting off. But like I said, there's a lot of great talent, lots of great entries. Uh, so I made a third tier, a wild card tier, which was a mixture of the close scores of both tiers. Okay, so what we're going to look at first is we're going to look at the third tier, the wild card tier, all right, and then we'll make our way to the second tier and the first tier. Um, in this round, all builders were asked to submit a build using three wires, must use three wires, and three wires only, meaning wire type and wire size. You could have mixed the alloys for color or whatever, but three wires and three wires only so if you pick 26.4 and 38 you had to use them three wires you had to use three and only three all right after I received the entries I drafted three judges for each tier to judge and I had them judge on categories like cleanliness functionality execution and mount difficulty, creativity, and overall. Uh, some some judges uh, did on photography and presentation on the first tier. Uh, basically, I did a point system. I asked all the judges to be do a point system, whatever point system they used. Make sure they use that for every builder in that tier. Be fair, whatever you judge on one builder, judge on the other. And at the end, I added them all together, and whoever got the highest scores We'll move on and we'll be my top builders in that round. For tier three, there were ten builders. All right, only eight submitted in this round. There was ten builders that could submit, only eight submitted in this round. This tier, I am going to have three builders. One was going to be from the tier one entries and two from the tier two entries. Okay, so the judges I picked for this round are Black Cat White Face. Black Cat White Face has an Instagram page called Black Cat White Face. Black Cat White Face also has a YouTube channel where he does the Vape at Five, where he builds coils, tells you about advocacy, and reviews different kinds of things like RDAs and wire swivels and all that kind of stuff. He has a Facebook group and he also does Drop the Shame with Yeti's Uncle on Saturdays at 9 Eastern Time. So check out Black Cat White Face at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on his YouTube channel. I'll have a link in the description. My other judge for this round or for this tier is Ramo to you. Ramo to you 
is a veteran coil builder, just been doing it for as long as I can remember. He was also in Coil War Season 1. He brought us stuff like the KTX RDA and the pre Precision Wire Clamp or the Ramo Clamp that everybody asks me about all the time. So we're glad to have Ramo to you. And also for this Tier 3, our judge will be Dwayne Rambo, co-creator of Coil Wars and creator of the Coil Wars Facebook group. Awesome builder, uh, great judge to have here. Uh, he really knows how to break down builds. I'm just glad to have Dwayne here, as well as Rambo and Black Cat for this. So, our three builders that scored the highest and that are going to the next round are... Zexus Coils scored 72 points. 72 points, and he built a hybrid, it was a binary pitchfork, Staggerton Alien Stag. He used the wires 40 gauge, 30 gauge, and .3 to make this crazy, crazy ass build. Beautiful colors on it. This was one of the judges' favorites, and actually, he scored higher than some of the builds in the second tier as well so this is a great build uh, you could see why he was very close to getting into tier one all right next one up will be from the tier two entries and that was grill hamster had a triple grooved clapception he used 32 gauge or no i'm sorry he used 0 0.32 0 0.12 and 0 0.08 Beautiful build. It's a crazy build here. You know how I like my micro claptons, and that's what he used for this one. Next one up, and the final person in getting into the last round in tier three is Carolina Coilcraft, with also 57 points. And he did a half stag pitchfork using 0.4 ribbon, 0.3 ribbon, and 38 gauge. Great job, guys. Congratulations. Um, you can check all these guys out on Instagram. Uh, go check out the first video as well. I put up a first video with all the entries of this round. Uh, no talking, just straight to the builds, all the pictures that they entered. I will also put a link to that in the description. All right, so now for Tier 2. All right, Tier 2 was asked the same thing. Use three wires and three wires only. My judges for Tier 2 were... Black Cat White Face again, Ramo to you again, and a different judge for this round, Mr. Macy Vapes, Matt Macy, also a Coil Wars veteran. Matt Macy was building for like seven weeks when he started Coil Wars, and he went damn near to the end with us in Coil Wars. He's an awesome builder. He's really grown. His pictures are phenomenal. He's on the same build team as Black Cat Whiteface. I'm just so glad to have Macy here, and I thought it was a perfect judge to have in this tier. Okay? So, now, for this tier two, we had three winners. It was and Hasta D, Modified Star, and Eric German, but they were all disqualified because they used way more than three wires for their build. Um, so I had to disqualify you and pick three more. All three of you used more than three wires. So I'm sorry, but it's just the rules and our winners will be. I apologize. I have to edit this video. I have to edit who won in um, tier two. So we're going to have the same winners. Uh, Hazer, V-God, and Corridor. You're still in tier two. You still do a build for the final round. But I disqualified two builders that shouldn't have been dis disqualified. Eric German and Modified Star are not disqualified. They actually scored the highest in that tier. And what had happened was, what had happened was, is when I went to go look for another builder because of the one disqualification, I went to a file to go find the other winner. And when I came back, I went into the wrong file. I looked at their first round builds and seen that they used more than three wires. And I didn't double check my work. And I made the mistake of thinking that they did more than three wires when they didn't. So, Eric German scored 71 points. He scored the most points in this tier. He used 28 gauge, 40 gauge, and .3 ribbon to make this awesome hybrid inception. It has Enigma 
in there. It has stitched Alien Suka in there, and he just did a very good job. He installed it in the Warrior, so great job. I apologize once again. I know these guys put in a lot of hard work to build these coils and to follow the rules, and I just should have double-checked my work. I apologize. And also making it in Modified Star. With 65 points, he scored the second most points in this round. He used 34 gauge, 0.3 ribbon, and 38 gauge. He did a stitched, framed, or I'm sorry, a stacked, framed, pattern, parabolic, staggertron bridge coil. Crazy build, build. So a bridge coil is when, you know, you go across the deck with a bridge connecting both coils on either side that actually makes up one or two coils in a different way. Um, this is a crazy build. Awesome colors. Great job. Once again, I apologize. These guys did great. You did follow the rules. So I had to throw in this edit. Once again, all five builders instead of three builders are in this round. I don't want to take anybody's spot away from them, get anybody's hopes high and take the spot. So all five are in this tier. Eric German with the most points. Modified Star, second most. Hazer, third most. V God, fourth most. And Cordor with the fifth most. All five are in this round. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Hazer scored 60 points. And he did an indented alien mohawk stitch using 38 gauge, 36 gauge, and 28 gauge. I'm loving seeing these indented builds come out, especially at the start of this build off. And this build is just crazy. Next up was V God Enley. He changed his name. I'll put it up on the screen. I don't have it in front of me right now, but um, he scored 56 points, and he did an Enigma Triple Celtic Inception. Crazy build. Awesome. Uh, he used 29 gauge, 0.3, and 40 gauge to make this crazy Inception build. Good job, V-God. Um, and once again, I'll put his new name up there in the, uh, in the video. So, third and final for this round was Cordor. He scored 55 points with uh, using 0.3, 28, and 40 gauge. He did a stitched hybrid para alien. Awesome hybrid. You know how I love my hybrids. Looks like the judges did too. Um, great job. Great job. Um, so, yeah, uh, close call with the Vapor Cat and. Ed Bedell, these guys did great too. It was a really close call, but um, the other guys just crept ahead by a couple points. Uh, great job, everybody, though. These builds are, these guys just all did really good. You all took your time and did what you were supposed to do. So, congrats and uh, great job using the three wires and only the three wires. So, now we come to Tier 1. Tier 1 had the same rules. Three wires, three wires only, must use three wires. The judges I have for tier one, where I tried to get four judges, but I could only get um, three judges for this one, but worked out perfect. Black Hat, White Face again, rainbow to you. Guys, thanks so much. I had three judges to start off this whole entire thing, and I had them judge every build, and it was such a task. Like, it... I judged them myself, and it took forever, and it's so hard to do, and I can't believe that Rainbow and Blackhead did all three of these tiers and scored them. They had it all easy for me to read and everything. It was just the easy. All the judges did great. I have to give a special thanks to all the judges for everything that they did. The way that they laid it out for me was just really easy. Working with the judges was a breeze. There was a couple judges that since I was running late, I, I lost a couple judges just because our times didn't line up since I didn't give them the entries when I should have. So I do have to give a special thanks to Build Lab because he was down to be a judge. Maybe we could get him next round, I'm not sure. And Hansel Jedi. So thanks guys, um, sorry I couldn't get his in this time, but hopefully next round I can get them in. So we had Black Cat, White Face, Raymo to you, and also Godless Grams. Godless Grams is a, just an awesome dude on Instagram. This guy has liked every 
picture I think that I've ever put up and on top of it he's an awesome builder and takes awesome photography you could also see him on Ownboy OC's new YouTube page you see him creeping around the back he's a little he's a little blurry he walks around a little blurry apparently I met him in person he wasn't that blurry but um, anyway uh, great guy thanks a lot for helping out with this and he's a perfect a perfect builder to have for a judge he was very fair and also had everything laid out for me very easy to read so I'm gonna go from the lowest to the highest scores on this tier so with 71 points we had builds by Talon Talon used 26 gauge 38 gauge and .4 ribbon so Talon did this crazy hybrid, just one of the craziest alien hybrids I've ever seen. He used alien wire to alien and make enigma, and then used more alien wire and twisted wire to make more aliens, and then he used that to make aliens, and then put it into an alien hot This thing was crazy, beautiful colors too. Um, just incredible. This thing is nuts. Uh, crazy that that was done with three wires. Just crazy. Next up with 72 points, mass coils. Mass coils used 28, 40 gauge, and .3 ribbon. He did this triple stove top Staggertron, it, which is also a hybrid. Uh, this thing's crazy in the uh, Death Wish RDA. This is just straight out of uh, Mass Coils Instagram feed. You look at this build and just see his name all over it. Just a crazy triple stove top. Uh, something you don't see every day, if at all. Great job. Good job. Next up is Hupfer Coils. Hupfer Coils also did an indented build and made it his bitch apparently. He did a razor back parallel with it. Did a Suka inside, made an Inception, uh, also in the Death Wish RDA, and this thing's just beastly, and it looks great, it's super clean, he scored 75 points also, and um, yeah man, this, this thing's nuts, just a great job, great, great, great job. And last but not least, with the most points, 77 points, is Pro B300 with Richie Oliver. He used 21 gauge, 32 gauge, and 40 gauge. I will personally tell you that people have dropped out of this build off because he put up this build and put it up super early. And you can see why he was just confident in putting this up. This thing's crazy. It's like a triple hybrid. He used some stagger fuse clapped into Suka, and then he alien Suka, and then he did some twisted wire in there, also in the Death Wish RDA. So uh, common theme in this in this round. So uh, dude, this build's crazy. This this is like build of the year here. This is great stuff. Can't wait to see what all these guys have coming up next. Uh, so. We also had an entry from Ned, and since he couldn't be in the top four, there's a little side bet that Ned puts up. Whoever scores more points than him in each round will get $25 per round if they win at the end in Tier 1. Ned scored 72 points with the judges. He did uh, his all-day vape. This is just what he vapes on all day. He didn't even try to do anything crazy. He just put in what you know his flavor-chasing build that uh, he always builds and, you know, test flavors. So it's, you know, he's got to make it stable down there. Staggertrons, hybrid, stovetop, you know, just everything, everything under the sun. He said he got his inspiration from Sesame Street. Uh, which one of these coils is not like the other? Which one of these are alike? And um, then he started vaping it about 15 years ago, and he's just never went to any other coil. Said next round though he's uh he's actually gonna build something to knock your socks off. Y'all bitches are fucked. 
All right, I want to thank all my judges, including Bill Lab and Hansel Jedi. Um, no late entries this round even scored high enough anyway. So all the complaining about me letting people enter their enter their builds in another day later, even though they gave me plenty enough time, you know, whatever. They didn't make it in anyway. They were very close, very, very close, but, and I would have dealt with that if they would have made it in, but they didn't score high enough at all anyway. So it, it just all worked out in the end. So all the um, crying was for nothing. Congrats to all the winners. Um, for the last and final round, here's the rules. Anything goes. I was going to say do a 24 millimeter deck, but no, I'm just going to do anything goes. You could build whatever you want and whatever deck you want. You will be judged on the same things. Cleanliness, functionality, execution and mount, difficulty, creativity, and overall. It will be on a 30 point system and uh, five points for each category, and that's what I'm going to tell the judges. That's what we're going to grade you on, and whoever scores the highest will win in all three of these rounds. Each person will get a prize, but anyway, you will not post this build on Instagram right away. That is not how I want you to enter it. What you're going to do is you're going to DM me your entries on Instagram. You're going to private message me your pictures, okay? You will not put it on Instagram. Do not put it on Instagram. I want everybody to send me their builds. All right. Send them to me by November 2nd. So you're due November 2nd. All builds, all pictures are due November 2nd. No later. I'm not doing that anymore. Nobody's going to be granted extra time. It isn't fair. But, you know, at the end, I have final say. But I'm telling you now, there's going to be no more extra time. It's part of the build off to get the build in on time. So. Send me the builds through DM. A video will be uploaded with the judges' scores and the winners, and all your entries will be put up on, in the video on November 5th. Okay, so November 2nd is a Friday. November 5th is a Monday. Okay? Put them in November 2nd. Send them to me through DM. November 5th, the video will be up with the entries and the winners. But you could post your builds start in the third, okay? So post your builds the third. Basically, when everybody puts them in, then you could start posting them up, all right? So November 3rd, you could start posting your builds, but they're due the second. Feel free to start posting them up after you give them to me and after November 2nd. November 3rd, you're good to go to do whatever you want. I will get this video out on November 5th, like I say. I will get judges, whether some of them will be the same ones, all of them will be the same ones, I don't know. Just know that I will be judging on the same things. Thanks a lot. Once again, sorry that it took so long. This is the 10K build-off, and I hit 11K before this video came out. It's fucking ridiculous, but shit happens. Let's just move forward. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for competing. Everybody that's watching and follow along, thank you. Go support your builders. Go follow all of them on Instagram. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one, November 5th. And uh, also has a YouTube channel where he does a 5 p.m. build um, so, uh, yeah, they'll go on to the third one. Okay, so for tier, th and, uh, at Grill Hamster, he scored 57 points, and he had this half stag, um, he had, I'm sorry, he had the tri- Y'all bitches are fucked. And, uh, 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 and,